Embroidery on stretched canvas. I love to experiment with fabric, this is velvet, and with shapes and surfaces. Wooden frame gives a lot of different possibilities. Although per stretch canvas is usually too thick to embroider on it. So I buy stretcher bars and create frames myself. Each bar is 20 cm, so if I use four of them, I will get square. There is a smooth side and a side with volume. Make sure you insert them with the same side up. Sometimes you need to apply a lot of pressure. I'm not strong enough to insert them the whole way in. So I attach them a little and use the hammer. The frame is ready. The next step, stretch the fabric, in this case cotton. Attach fabric with clips, trim the excess of fabric. For the stretching I use construction stapler, staple gown for wood. It may help if you wet the fabric. The first staple goes in the middle of any bar, doesn't matter which one will be first. Then pull the fabric from the opposite side as much as you can and attach it with the second staple. Pull the fabric and attach it with the third staple in the middle and do the same for the last side. Now you can feel the tension in the middle, in the intersection of the old staples. Then add two more staples for the each side. Process is the same, you pull fabric as hard as you can and staple it. At first one pair for opposite side, then for another. Check the front side and tension after each staple. Continue until each side has three staples in. The corners are my weak spot. I fold the corner fabric inside and place it on the frame. And attach it with staple. Same for the rest of the corners. Then I attach all fabric that is left. It shouldn't catch anything in the process of embroidery. Trim small threads. We got the tension we need. Also usually cotton shrinks when it dries, so the tension will be even better. You can add more staples to make sure fabric is secure. And it's a dry frame with stretched cotton. I use scissors for fabric, hammer, clips, construction stapler, corner cotton and stretcher bars. Become my patron to be the first to see my videos. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.